Good morning, students. This is Principal Jones. Today is Monday. It's another beautiful day at high school. For our announcements, just wanted to give a reminder that Valentine's Day is right around the corner. Flowers will be sold in the cafeteria at lunchtime for $1 per carnation. Also, the Valentine's Day school dance will be held on Friday after school in the gymnasium. Let's all have a good day. Hey Shay, are you going to the dance on Friday? You know Will is going to be there. I know, I like him so much. But I don't celebrate Valentine's Day. Well why don't you at least meet up with him after class and tell him how you feel? You know he likes you. Yeah but I'm not sure if he'll still like me once he finds out I don't celebrate. He might think I'm too religious. Nonsense, you're both Christians. I'm sure he'll still like you. Just talk to him. Maybe. I gotta grab my books from my locker. See you in science class. See ya. Hmm. <laughs> so Shay thinks she's going to take Will from Ashley. I'm going to make sure that doesn't happen. Hey girl, you won't believe what I just heard. What? I heard Shay talking to Brittany. She said she likes Will. She better not be trying to take him. She said she's going to talk to him after class. Girl you better hurry up and ask him to the dance before she snatches him first. There she is. I can't stand her. Hi Ashley. <laughs> I don't know why you guys are so mean to me. Because we don't like you. And if it wasn't for this stupid group assignment we wouldn't even be talking to you. But I don't understand. What did I do? Will, you're late again. Sorry, it won't happen again, I promise. It better not. Otherwise I'll have to write you up for detention. Now go to your seat. Hey Will. You better not even think about asking him to the school dance. I wasn't going to. I don't celebrate Valentine's Day. Good, because he's mine. Look, there's Shay at her locker. I think I might buy her a flower and ask her to the dance. She's so sweet and she's a Christian. I really like her. Go for it, man. I gotta get to class. I'll catch up with you later. Did I just hear you say that you were going to ask Shay to the dance? Yeah. Trust me, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Why not? Because she doesn't like you. Really? How do you know? I asked her, and she told me that if you asked her to the dance, she would say no. Wow, I had no idea. I thought she liked me. Why don't we go to the dance together and you can show me some of your dance moves? Okay. See you later, Will. Hey, Brittany. Hey. Did you talk to Will yet? Not yet. I'm going to talk to him at lunchtime. Brittany and Jay. Is there something you would like to share with the class? No, Mr. Thompson. Then I suggest you stop talking while I'm teaching. Would everyone please take out your homework assignment from last night? I will go around the room and collect it. We'll be having a pop quiz. Look, Ashley is sitting next to Will, and she has a flower. What? I'm sorry, Shay. I thought he liked me. Now I'll never have the chance to tell him how I feel. Don't worry, I'll talk to him. That's okay. All of a sudden I'm not so hungry. I'll see you later. What's wrong, Buttercup? Why are you crying? The guy I like at school asked another girl to the Valentine's Day dance and gave her a flower. Sweetheart, you know we don't celebrate Valentine's Day. I know, I didn't want to go to the dance. I just wanted to tell him how I feel. Now it's too late. It's probably for the better, he doesn't even know I don't celebrate holidays. Why do you say that? Is he a Christian? Yes. But he'll probably think I'm weird. It's so hard to fit in. Remember, the Bible states in Romans chapter 12 verse 2 do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is his good, pleasing and perfect will. Remember, we are in the world, not of it. There is nothing for you to feel ashamed of that you don't celebrate holidays. 
and as far as the guy is concerned, I think this would be a great opportunity to teach him. You know, when your mother and I started dating, I didn't know about holidays either. You didn't? No, she taught me, and as I grew in my walk with Christ and began learning things. Over time, I started becoming more knowledgeable, and started turning away from pagan traditions. I'm grateful to your mother for having the boldness, strength and courage to speak up. She has such a love for God and has never been afraid to do what's right, no matter how many people scorn or mock her. It's one of the many reasons why I fell in love with her. You never know what God's plan is. Maybe one day, you and this young fellow will get married, like your mother and I did. Thanks, Daddy. Of course, sweetheart. There you are, Shay. I've been looking all over for you. What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be at the school dance with Ashley? I wanted to talk to you. Brittany told me about what happened. She did? Yeah. I guess that means you know that I like you. I like you too, Shay. Would you like to go to the dance? Actually, can we go somewhere and talk? Yes. So how come you don't want to go to the school dance? I don't celebrate Valentine's Day. How come? It's a long story, and it's pretty deep too. I'm listening. Well, Valentine's Day wasn't always called that. However, the observance of a sex and love festival has been around for centuries. The gods associated with it go back to the ancient Greeks and Romans, who worshipped many pagan gods. Some of their names are Eros, Adonis, Venus and Cupid. They believed Eros was the god of lust and it's where the word erotic comes from. Anyway, when you research this event, you'll see the symbols of these pagan gods, such as Cupid with an arrow, red hearts and flowers are a part of Valentine celebrations today, just like they were back then. <laughs> I didn't know that. Is that why you don't celebrate it? Because of its pagan origins? Oh, absolutely. But there's a lot more. The Romans celebrated a so-called love festival called Lupercalia. Luper? What? Lupercalia. It was observed on February 13th, 14th, and 15th every year. What they did during the celebration was completely gross and immoral. How bad was it? Well, the men would get drunk and naked, then they would sacrifice goats and dogs as part of the festivities, then, place the blood on the men's foreheads, followed by wiping their heads with milk. This is where the red and white symbolism of Valentine's Day comes from. What? Animal sacrifice? Gross. I know. Then they would tear a piece of the animal's skin and hit the women with it. This was believed to make the women fertile, and if the strike pierced the skin, like Cupid's arrow, even better. Yuck. That's gruesome. So, let me get this straight. A bunch of naked, drunken out of their minds guys would kill innocent animals so they can hit women with animal skin? What kind of sickos were those people? There is still more. Afterwards, the women's names would be drawn, and whoever's name was pulled, the two would go off and... you know. You mean sex? Yep. So it was basically one big orgy. Yikes. Suppose you got an unattractive woman. Will. <laughs> okay, just kidding. The Most High God would never approve of anything like that. No. He never would. Did you know people who believed in Jesus were killed on February 14th too? You mean more bad stuff happened on February 14th? Yes, and it's very sad. A Roman emperor named Claudius II had a Catholic priest whose name was Valentine clubbed to death and beheaded because he was secretly marrying men and women, so that the men wouldn't have to go off to fight for Rome. Claudius tried to make Valentine renounce his faith, but he wouldn't so he ordered his execution. Man. I never knew Valentine's Day was such a day of ungodliness. Animal sacrifice, orgies, a believer in our Lord beaten and beheaded. This isn't good. There is still more if you want to know. Nah, I'm good for now. I'll research more later. I'll tell you one thing though, I'll never look at Valentine's Day the same again. Besides, I don't need a specific day or occasion to tell you how I feel. <laughs>